Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So today I'm coming to you guys with a dark purple smoky eye and a dark lip. I hope you guys enjoy it. So first we're going to start off by priming our eyelids. We're taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and we are going to put this all over my lid with my finger so basically this helps our eyeshadows show up true to color on my skin especially with women of color we have a hard time with eyeshadows because they don't show up true to color most of the time because our skin is brown there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes I like to use soft ochre because it shows up the eyeshadow shows up true to color so I'm just patting that all over my lid now I'm taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm blending that out so that we don't have any harsh lines. And when you use the MAC um, paint pots, you definitely want to set them because they could be really sticky and it makes your eyeshadows patchy and everything. So I'm just going to set it with a white translucent powder. I believe it's from NYX and I'm just going to pat that all over. Just a little bit will do. <laughs> now I'm going to take this um, purple eyeshadow. It's a lighter purple eyeshadow and I'm going to put this in my crease and I'm going to blend it back and forth with a shader brush. So a blending brush, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm going to take a darker purple eyeshadow. Any shadows will work and I'm going to blend that right below that lighter purple shadow in the outer V of my eye and bringing it in my deep crease, like in the deep crease area. Just watch and you'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just blending that out. It does not have to be perfect. It can be really sloppy. Smoky eyes come together at the end when you blend them out. So I'm just trying to make sure they're kind of even and I'm going to blend everything out. Basically concentrating that darker purple eyeshadow in the outer V and in the deep crease right below that lighter purple shadow so I'm just gonna blend that out until I think it looks pretty decent, <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep blending now I'm taking a dark black eyeshadow by Kat Von D and I'm just gonna put that in the outer V of my eye with a blending brush and I'm gonna bring bring I can't talk <laughs> I'm gonna bring that black in towards the center of my eye and I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm concentrating the color in the outer V though but I'm blending the rest towards the middle of my eye if that makes sense. So now I'm taking that same blending brush and I am going to blend the black color with the purple transition color that I placed in and I just want to make it so that it looks really smoky and I'm just gonna blend that out the best I can <laughs> and just keep blending and blending. So now I am blending the purple color with my eyebrow highlight and I'm just blending that out so that it looks seamless up there too. So I'm just going to rip my tape off. It hurt this time. <laughs> so now I am going to go in with that light purple eyeshadow and I am going to go on my lash line with a e.l.f. smudger brush. This just makes the look come all together and it connects like all the dots. That's how I feel. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. And I actually forgot to do my waterline. I think I'm going to do that next. But I'm just going to smudge that purple color all underneath my lash line. Just smudging that color out to make it look really smoky. And yeah, just connect the outer V parts as well. Now I'm going to take my MAC Feline Eye Coal and... I'm gonna put that on my waterline. If you don't tight line, um, definitely try it because it helps your eyeshadow pop and it helps your eyes pop as well. So now I'm gonna take that dark black Kat Von D eyeshadow and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my lash line. And I'm just going to smudge out the purple color with this black color. And I'm just going to keep the black color towards the outer part of my lash line. And just blend that out until it looks how you want it to look. I already added my lashes and everything. So now we're going to move on to the lips. I already lined my lips with Night Moth Lip Pencil by MAC. Now I'm filling them in with a colored rain lipstick I will put that down below uh, the color of this 
So that's basically the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out the foundation routine that matches with this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.